weight. $200 less for this than this? What the heck's going on? I want to tell you about a polisher that has been really, really impressive so far. I want to tell you about the Shine Mate polisher. What is that? Some kind of Chinese knockoff? It's what everyone's thinking. So I'm just gonna say it, and then I'm gonna refute it. Shine Mate? I was skeptical at first. Rupes. This is still spinning. If you want cut with a Rupes, if you want this backing plate to rotate, the backing plate stalls on every single curve and edge. You go out and spend another $75 on the Excel backing plate. I love Scott at Detail Division. See you later, Excel. What about the guys out there who say, I'm sick of all of that, I'm a working detailer. I want to get more cut to get the scratches out of my paint. Welcome to the world of Shine Mate. It's not some Chinese knockoff brand. They've been around for like 20 years. Scott at Detail Division, when I expressed to him some frustration over the Flex XCE, it was a cordless polisher, forced rotation, said I didn't love it. And he said, have you heard about Shine Mate? Their cordless polisher, their battery technology is getting a lot of buzz. I hadn't heard about them. But turns out that this corded polisher is what they seem to be most excited about. It's a little dirty. It's a little beat up. I've had it in the shop now for about a month and a half, and I've been using it as often as I can. Every time I've picked up a five inch DA, it has been this one. Let me tell you what. I'm gonna show you some side by sides. These two polishers look very familiar. I did go to Rupes training. I don't wanna hate on them. Um, they did mention though, they're like, why do you think polishers are made with 15 and 21 millimeter orbits? Was that just some like perfect number? No, Rupes invented that. They created the game. Rupes makes an elegant, beautiful machine. And yet, for a lot cheaper, for a lot more power, and for what's actually a very well-engineered machine, I think a lot of detailers out there are gonna wanna listen up. Because this thing is pretty awesome. A lot of haters out there, a lot of loyal Rupes guys are gonna start hating on me. I believe the model is the EX620. 15 millimeter throw five inch backing plate. Right now they sell it on carzilla.ca. 285 Canadian, you know what that is in US dollars? 225 bucks. Wait, $200 less for this than this? What the heck's going on? All right, I'm gonna get to a demonstration real quick. But I will just tell you, when I look at the soft start options on both, I'm like, that's pretty impressive. When I look at the machine, they look pretty similar. Ergonomically, I feel like this still has that sexy look. Actually, this is, I believe, the Mark II because it has the carbon fiber. You're gonna have to work with me on that. Um, the Mark III is sitting over on the shelf. Um, I can't remember what we've sent in and what we haven't. We've sent in a bunch of Rupes polishers lately. 5800 is where this goes to. I believe uh, OPM, whatever the top speed is, 5800. When you look at the Mark II, and maybe I need to check the Mark III, but it's 5,300. Speed six is kind of jerky, I'm not gonna lie. It's aggressive, it's jerky, but you have a powerful motor in here. You have power that I just don't feel like you get in the Rupes. I feel like Babe Ruth calling my shot, ready to hit the grand slam. This is the Shine Mate polisher, and I'm telling you guys, with a microfiber on here, my favorite way to use this is after dual action sanding. So I'm gonna go ahead and dual action sand. I definitely wanted a dual action sand here because the hood was all water spotted out and uh, just needed some real work. Now, in the past, I'll use a rotary after I dual action sand because of those pigtails. If you know what pigtails are, you already know. If you don't, and you might be thinking about getting into some dual action sanding, it's a great way to get that showroom shine. Um, but you're gonna get these little pigtails that are really hard to get out of the paint. So do you see this deep haze pattern? Sometimes I can only get them out with a rotary until the Shine Mate. And trust me, I tried it with the Rupes, man. I would grind in on those scratches with the Rupes. Nothing moved. Speed four and a half on a hood horizontal panel. Weight of the machine, basically. You can slow it down. You can vary your technique. 
Oh yeah, back in place, spinning on the edges. But this thing cuts like a beast. Now, I'm gonna tell you, it is a machine that is going to be a little bit more vibration than your Rupes. It's a machine that's gonna be a little louder than your Rupes. It's a machine that's going to be more powerful than your Rupes. I just find that with this thing in your hand, it just mows those scratches and pigtails down. And finally, I wanna talk about how this particular machine can actually be an awesome polisher. I put it on speed four. My focus is flat pad, just enough pressure to keep the pad flat, nothing more, no hard pressure. And I'm trying to essentially hydroplane. It's like I'm doing my best to literally keep this pad flat and then move with my shoulders to keep it flat. And it's almost like one and two and one and two. And I'm using the purple pad from Koch Chemi with their M3 polish. Um, when it starts to grab, I know that it's time to blow out my pad. But basically, it's a phenomenal polishing machine. I like it as much, if not more, than the Rupes. And again, we're talking about a $200 cheaper machine that cuts like Paul Bunyan, who may have just injected amphetamines and uh, got into a bar fight. And the polish is out really nice too.